Hi, welcome to this tutorial today uh, for Unreal Engine. This will work with Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5. You do need Niagara installed if you're on Unreal Engine 4. I believe that's 4.25 or 4.26 and upwards. Um, but what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to make a animated full body particles. This works with anything you want, um, rocks, sticks, trees, vines, whatever you want to use, this will work with it. Um, I'm using rocks and leaves for this. So as you can see, when we run around, the, the particles will stick to the body like a monster, and then it will um, fall behind and trail okay, on the ground. Okay, so with that said, the first thing we need to do is we need to set a couple things up. Um, the first thing is we need to go to the, before we create the particle, we need to do this. So we need to go to your skeletal mesh. You need to type in support uniform distributed sampling. Now by default on the Unreal Engine new mannequin for Unreal Engine 5, it's on. For your mesh, it's probably off. You need to turn that on. If it's grayed out, what you can do is you can type in CPU, allow CPU access. Just click that and you'll have access to um, the uh, support uh, uniform distributed sampling. Now what that does is if you have this off, then the mesh will, the particles will center around certain points like the head or the hands and then other parts of the body won't really have any particles on them. So what this does is it makes sure that the whole body is equally distributing particles on it. Okay, so now that we got that set up, um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you the asset I'm using. This is an SM rock. I think it's from a forest asset pack I got for free or something on the Unreal Marketplace. Um, you can use any mesh you want. It doesn't need to be a rock. Like I said, this works for literally anything. Um, and then for the, uh, the like leaves plant texture, it's just an image I got off Google. I did a site called remove.bg to remove the background and set up as opacity. What I'm doing here with the multiplying the gray texture is I'm just darkening it because it's pretty bright. I want it to be a darker green, not a bright green. Okay, so now that we have all that, I'm going to go ahead and get into making the particle system. Okay, so I, what I did was I already have it made, and I'm going to show you the steps I went through to take it from a base fountain particle into what it is in the demo I just showed. So to start, just go to FX, or right here if you're on Unreal Engine 5, but FX if you're in Unreal Engine 4, go to Niagara System, New System from Selected Emitters, next, and then choose Fountain, okay? Now by default, you're not going to have this. What you're gonna have is something that looks like this, okay? So I'm gonna show you what I changed from here, and you can just add these and then click the checkbox to turn them off um, on yours, okay? And by the end, you'll, you should have this, okay? So first thing I did was I turned off the sprite render and I went in here and I typed in mesh renderer, okay? So we did a mesh renderer. This will allow us to render static meshes as the particles, okay? And then what I did here, because I copy pasted them, is I renamed them from rocks and I copy pasted it and made it vines. I'm gonna go over that in a second here, okay? So then the second thing I did was I added spawn burst instantaneous and turned off spawn rate. Now what that does is, um, as you can see here, it's spawn rate. What spawn burst instantaneous does, it'll spawn them all at one time. Spawn rate does them over time. And if you're not too familiar with Niagara system, I'm gonna go over real quick what each of these does. So emitter update is, or yeah, emitter update, think of it like the construction script or the components tab on your blueprint. Um, so like this stuff right here or in here, okay. And that's what that does. So it tells it how to spawn, that's kind of stuff. Particle spawn, think of this like begin play, anything that needs to be set or happen when you first spawn, you'll do that here. Particle update is anything that happens on tick. This is like the tick of um, particles. Okay, so now that you have that understanding, we can go through why each of these works and where to put them. So you want spawn burst instantaneous on emitter update, and then you want to add initial mesh orientation mesh orientation right here and all this does is it just gives it a random rotation it gives the particles a random rotation so they're not all um, flat like this some might be facing sideways or whatever um, so that's does that this right here initialize mesh reproduction sprite if you just go in here and type in initialize initialize mesh reproduction sprite okay what you're gonna see when you go in here is this is gonna be empty you want to set this to the skeleton you're using. So for my case, I'm using third-person character, and he has the Manny guy, the Manny character, so I put him in there. 
if you don't put this in here, the particles will just, um, they'll just like stay in a single spot. So you want to put the mesh in there. Okay. And then these, now that we have the particle spawn stuff in there, we want to go to particle update or tick, as I said earlier. So we want to go to update mesh reproduction sprite. This is the main thing you need to add in particle update. And just copy, paste, copy this, paste it in here. So if you need to find it, it's update mesh reproduction sprite. There you go. Okay. Now I have collision, scale, color. All these were default on the fountain. I just left those as is and just added this. Uh, one more thing is I didn't mention this earlier is if you're using the static mesh renderer, you need to go down here and uh, this will be default by uh, or or empty by default. You want to go in here and set your mesh. Okay. And like I said, I'm using this one here. Okay. And then you can adjust the scale of it. This one is this is one's a pretty big mesh, so I turned it down to 0 0.05 across the board. Okay, so now what I did is we have the rocks. So if we turn this off, this is what you should have. Uh, you should have this rock right here, and I'll spawn. Okay, so now we're gonna add the rest of the stuff, the vines and the trail. Okay, so all I did for the vines was just take the rock, Control C, Control V it. Okay, I'm gonna delete this here because I don't need it. But um, all we did then to add the vines was we went and we uh, took that mesh render. We made a second one. I renamed it to vines. And we went to override, enable material overrides. Okay, we click that and then we click override materials. And I just used my vat vines material that I showed you here earlier. Okay. And that's, that is just for the vines. And now you should have this. Okay, you should have these vines. Um, so now what we're going to work on is the trail. Okay. So the trail, all I did to make it have a trail was I added on particle update, I added gravity force. Okay. And then I added um, drag, the drag uh, node on it. And then I added curl noise force, curl noise force. And I turn that to 500. And the reason what that does is it makes it where it doesn't just fall directly down. It has like a little bit of variation in how it falls. Okay. And if you want it to be like wind, let's say you have paper or something, like a newspaper as the particle, and you want it to be like wind, you can up this to like 5,000 or something. I do 500. Okay. So then the final thing is just you should have this update mesh reproduction sprite because you just copy pasted this. Just delete this off of the trail. Just delete off the trail and it won't it won't um, update because I'll sh I'll show you what it does here. So if we put this on here, now it won't um, it won't fall down because it's sticking to it. So if you just delete the update mesh reproduction sprite, it'll start falling down. And then all I did for the rock trail part was I just copy pasted this and changed it to the rock renderer. And that is basically it. I'm going to show you how to add this to a character now. Um, but if you just need the particles, that that's it. Uh, that's pretty much it for the particles. So for the character to add it on here, what you want to do is you want to go to Mesh, Add Component, Niagara, uh, Niagara, Niagara Particle System. Okay, and it'll add it down here. And then just like a normal component, you just set the system asset you want. And that's basically it. Oh, there was one more thing. Um, or one more thing in here first. Under mesh, go to refresh, type in refresh, and make sure it says always tick pose and refresh bones. If you're not gonna hide this mesh, then it's fine to just always tick pose, but if you're gonna hide the mesh, then you need to refresh bones as well, okay? That is basically it. Uh, if we go back in the game, you should have this now. Uh, if you want to change like how much is spawned, or um, basically how much is spawned, like if you don't want that many, just go into spawn burst instantaneous cut this down or put this up or whatever. Um, so we'll just do 50. Okay, we'll do this here. And now he's less of a, he has less. So this could be good for like a monster or something. Uh, that is basically it. If you like the video, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Um, I try to make videos that not a lot of other people do. Uh, I also have a Discord that uh, you can chat with me in if you need support. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.